Hi guys, welcome back to Father and Son Investing. Imagine, if you will, a golfer. Imagine that they're standing on the tee box getting ready to hit their first drive of the day. Now imagine that as they wind up and swing, they don't actually have a golf club in their hands. Obviously, they are not going to be effective at driving the ball. This could be akin to a genomics company that doesn't have the proper equipment in order to do their job. In this great world of discovery that we have, Perhaps one of the areas that has yet to be truly tapped is the area of genomics. We are just on the cusp, really, of being able to delve into this deeply. A lot of the, the areas of genomics that we would like to look into, such as endangered animal species or genetic diseases or microbes that may or may not be beneficial to us, have been locked because we just haven't had the proper equipment to look behind these doors and discover what is there. It takes a lot more than just intelligence to be able to figure this out. It's been almost 70 years since Watson and Crick figured out the structure of DNA with the help of numerous other people. In the 1990s, the Human Genome Project started and it took 13 years to sequence almost the entire human genome. They couldn't quite get it all done because they didn't have the right technology. You see, the technology that they had to do the human genome really consisted of short reads, being able to read short slices of DNA. And because of variance, some of those sections just couldn't be completely compiled. So they got about 99% complete. What they needed was a machine that could do longer reads and allow them to be able to get past some of those variants. Imagine the process of sequencing like a puzzle. Short reads are able to get very accurate slices, but they end up missing pieces. Long reads are able to get very complete uh, total process, but they, in the past they have been filled with errors and therefore you end up with a picture that looks jumbled. Along came a company developing a process that they call hi-fi sequencing. What that does is it takes the accuracy of a short read as well as the ability to read that longer and not get those missing pieces. They call this hi-fi sequencing and it is 99.9% .9 accurate. I'll tell you about this company in just a little bit. This is an article by American News Hour and it talks about long read sequencing and market industry demand. Essentially, what will it look like out into 2028? We'll come down here to this paragraph where it states the global long read sequencing market is anticipated to achieve a compound annual growth rate of almost 24% during the forecast period from 2021 to 2028. And it also states that in 2018, the market had reached 819 million, million US dollars and was expected to get to 7 billion and some change by 2025, growing at 4.5 times and further gain an absolute opportunity of 5.5 billion during the forecast period. We'll come down to this next paragraph where it says the global long read sequencing is divided really into two segments. It is the single molecule real-time sequencing, we'll call that smart sequencing, and the nanopore sequencing. And then the key in here is it's, it says that the smart segment held the largest market share and is expected to cross a value of more than $4 billion by the end of 2028. Now there is a particular company who is doing smart sequencing. The company is called Pacific Biosciences of California and really they have solved this problem with inaccuracy in long reads by something quite uh, simple yet ingenious. They have turned DNA into a circular pattern and then allowing the enzyme to be able to transcribe that DNA. It can do that in multiple circles over and over and over coming out with this longer piece of transcribed DNA. They do it, they call it by consensus, meaning they will now have multiple copies of this DNA and by consensus, unless it makes an error in the same spot every time, you should be able to come up with what the accurate version is. So they're doing that again at 99.9% .9 and they're doing it better with more accuracy than Illumina. This is the machine, its current iteration that they're using to do it. It was launch, launched in the fourth quarter of last year. This is where they were at the end of the fourth quarter for last year with about 27 million in the fourth quarter. And notice that it says there were 203 installed uh, versions of the SQL 2 and the 2E. This is where they were sitting at the second quarter results for this year. 
uh, revenue still going up and has been going up for the past five quarters and now at 282 installed units. They also had a big investment recently from SoftBank and so their cash balance has gone up significantly to $1.1 billion. This is what they've been doing in 2021. They have a collaboration going with Invite for whole genome sequencing. I already mentioned that SoftBank Investment LabCorp has been using their uh, SQL 2 to be able to sequence the COVID-19. Uh, and they have, since then, LabCorp has been working with the CDC uh, because the, of the accuracy that's coming out of that machine. There's been some children's hospitals that are using uh, their machine. Uh, they have made one acquisition, Circulomics, and they have another acquisition in the process of Omniome. Omniome will actually help them to improve their short read sequencing as well. So not only will uh, Pacific Biosciences be at the forefront when it comes to long read sequencing, but now they will have a company that's very good at short read, short read sequencing and will be able to combine those two entities in the future to do even better so that's it for Pacific Biosciences, which is number three on the list of the ArcG ETFs. That's at almost 5% weight in, within that ETF. I've already done a video about exact sciences. I'd encourage you to go and watch that. And of course, I've done a couple on Teladoc. I hope this was informative for you. If it was, please give us a thumbs up. We really need that. And as always, get a young person in your life involved in investing, particularly in the genomics sector, which is only going to expand enormously in the future. Until next time, enjoy your investing.